But this is similar to, I mean, I've, I've seen it from a sporting perspective whereby uh, a developer, in effect, wants to build you know, a cricket pitch, yeah. sort of build over a cricket pitch or a football pitch or a rugby pitch or whatever, and then, um, you know, will then pay a sum of money and a, lots of new cricket pitches will be built on the yeah. outer side of town. Is, is, is that similar, but with wildlife conservation areas? Yeah, so at the moment we've got, um, there's a lot of schemes in place at the moment. One of them's the um, uh, biodiversity net gain. You know, if you, I think it's, if you build on the greenfield side, for example, you have to, there has to be a net gain of 10%. And you could do that elsewhere on a third party site and things like that. But this is slightly different in the sense that it is literally just a lump sum of money that goes into a fund. Yes, fine, they've got to then use that fund to develop things elsewhere. Um, but it seemed, it, it's been uh, held as a, a sort of lesser protection for the environment, particularly areas such as triple um, uh, SIs, which are special scientific areas of interest. Can it chase be one of them? Or? Yeah, so can it chase is a SAC, which is, uh, okay. you can get me to do the acronyms there. No, I'm but not they're, they're, gonna... they're all there. They're, they're all, when I was, when, say, I, all when, I did, when I did GCSE geography, it was an area of outstanding it is that natural as well. beauty. It is oh, that it is that as well. That as well. Yeah. So, but, but just in that discussion there, you can see how many protections are already, and regulations that are currently in place and how many designations a site can have. 